Okay, we're parked. Parked about to make the trailhead. Ladies took a break from doing selfies to take pictures of each other. <laughs> <laughs> girls will be girls. <laughs> Doing our own challenge, you guys don't know. Our own challenge. <laughs> our own challenge. By the way, just so you know, this is Mount Baldy official name San Antonio. See, si, San Antonio, belle. It's perfect for me, huh? See, si, Antonio, no problem. Solamente. See. Si. Si, si. I use up all of my English. All about goddamn time. <laughs> Just a short paved walk to the first trailhead. All right, here's a little turn off to a waterfall. It's a little bit of a precarious path here. There's the mountain range. Here's sort of a trail up on the side of the mountain, but it rewards with a little visit starter to the falls. No, it's a hawk. It's a hawk. No, bro, it's a hawk. It's a red tail. <laughs> Photoshop. Just put a red tail in it in Photoshop. Container caught like Papua New Guinea. All right, we're still not really at our real trailhead yet. We just passed San Antonio Falls. Took a side trip. Now we're enjoying this view a little. Or a lot. With a lot more to come. What up? Windy, windy. All right. Here's only a hundred yards further from the last shot. Still not really at the trailhead yet. It's just beginning. Or not. And now they're taking a party in the hill. All right, we're looking at a project tree. Selected tree for genetics. And onward and upward. There's the ski lift. No cheating. Is there somebody on this guy? Yeah. Isn't that great? Oh, hell yeah, I'm all about that ski lift. Is it going to 
Uh, near. The views don't stop, so nor shall I. Another shot, closer view of the ski lift. Mount Baldy is a ski destination. Slow down, ladies, it's only 15 miles an hour. Slow your hike. You're cheating! <laughs> I'm not hiking today. No. <laughs> So there's the ski lodge. Word. We miss the trail. The easy to miss Mount Baldy Trail. So I'll show you. So right here at Manker Flats take the Mount Baldy Bowl Trail, it's steeper, about three, three miles shorter. We're going this way to the lodge, then across the Devil's Backbone to catch up with it. It's still going to summit, Devil's Backbone is awesome. I've done that before. Great views, aptly named, and onward and upward. <laughs> the tower has a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go. Talk to me. <laughs> we started out at 6,000. We're now at 7,565 feet. We're about an hour and a half into the hike, and we've traveled 0.51 miles. 0.51? We've only gone half a mile? Jesus, bro. That's what it says. Man. So we got 11.3 miles altogether, <laughs> 9.5. I don't know how accurate this is. <laughs> Our first trail where we missed was only a quarter mile in. That seemed like a mile ago. Okay, well then. Well, if we've been walking basically, for what we're basically half saying half mile, is this app kind of... sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but last time we thought that it was accurate, remember? It, was... but it is giving us time. Ah! <laughs> Chances are the time is <laughs> What the old people used to call oh, a watch. It is miles. Yes, you're going uphill, so. No, but we've been walking for an hour and a half. Seems like for a half a mile? No, I don't know. That sounds dubious. No, that's that's dubious. Know, totally. Because we no, I don't know either. But I brought a flashlight, so I'm not worried about the sun going down. You know what? I think we need to get multiple phones going <laughs> for uh, verification. Oh. 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 
All right, we're at Mount Baldy Ski Lodge. We're on our way to Devil's Backbone. And I think that's Mount Baldy by the car. Looks pretty bald from here. Okay, so this is a rough portion of the hike. Steep, no switchbacks. And still early, early on. Haven't even hit the devil's backbone part yet. Oh yeah. Steep parts over. Up, oh yeah. Down. No. But it's still early. We've got the devil's backbone ahead. Ski area, ski area boundary. You know that. Of course, we're not skiing. We're here for this. Huh, what's that red mark? Curiosity, wonder what that is. On my ass. Look. Nature. That is a big wad. Big wad literally a big wad of tree sap on my ass. So his app just told us we're at 8526. 8,500 feet. And we're just now coming up on Devil's Backbone. We just got through one steep part. There's another steep part before the summit. And it's hard to believe, but it's still early in the hike. And it just turned noon. And I don't smoke for a long time. I smoke. <laughs> What's really going on? I thought the ski lift was cheating. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> okay. What's up? There's that, there's that little fork up there, and you might be able to turn around. Where's he going, and why? If that whole ridge. DC 10? From, from yeah. here all the way down to the uh, 215. Oh, okay. And uh, then the winds 
shifted and it spotted over that. Over here is where we had that lightning strike where you see the uh, Burn. Uh, trail there. That took a million gallons of water out of the reservoir. Lightning, nature's way. Sometimes you gotta let some of that burn. Yeah. We're learning the hard way. Yeah. Well, this has burned several, I've seen it burn several times. It looks it. You can see all the bug kill trees down there. The beetles? Yep. Yeah. The bark beetle. Right, Moving on. We are finally got to Devil's Backbone. Are you still back there? Oh yeah. <clears throat> kind of crowded. It's a holiday weekend, Labor Day. This is always uh, always one of my favorite hikes. I love the heights and the narrowness and the expanding views on both sides. But it's been uh, way over 15 years since I did this hike. I was a little more immortal 15 to 20 years ago than I am now. Just a little. There go. Hey there. Thanks. Hike the backbone. Precarious to the right. Precarious to the left. Step aside. It's too narrow to cross two across. Isn't that wild? Love it. There you go. So part of the backbone does have a mountain on, on one side, but most of it doesn't. Hey there. I love a trail where you gotta pull over. It's badass. Well, I had a hummingbird in frame there a moment ago, but they tend to move fast. Anyway, 1.3 miles to go to the summit. Oop, there, flew right by frame. So about one and a third miles to go. This is what the view looks like from here. Good example of how crystal forms inside other rocks. Kind of cool. That's when you get a vein of gold. Similar. You can run right along there. Here we go. About a mile to the summit.
waiting for the last of our party about a mile up from the summit maybe eight tenths Ooh, chilling out, enjoying my hat. That was from Greece. That was from India. That's from Malaysia. It's from Papua New Guinea, South Africa. Uh, there's Malaysia again. Oh, uh, Brazil. Oh yeah. Oh, Jamaica. Word these all on myself except this one. Never been to Papua New Guinea. Got that from a buddy who brought back a statue, a little totem. This was wrapped around the totem. with uh my thoughts are with rob right now he's on life support back in columbus he would have came with us on this hike he's not an outdoorsman doesn't necessarily like hiking but if we had said we're going to go climb the tallest mountain in the san gabriels you want to go he would have said sure let's go and he would have went maybe complained a little on the way but he would have went and uh he might be going right now but not on a hike to the other side there we go well, it's hard to find good conversation. I don't know if those are the like poisonous beetle, poison to the trees, or what the deal is. Yeah, we are above the tree line indeed. Well, kind of, but then again, look above us. <laughs> There's trees up there, maybe we're not. This is how I remember this trail though, all the way so far. I was wondering if those are the, the beetles that have been killing the trees that we're hearing. Sitting on the snowbank right after I had lost mine. And well, maybe that guy on the way down will find yours. It'll all work out. It was a happy little mom. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. So this is exactly exactly how I remember this trail last time I did it. Love it. It's not just the heights; it's the uh, exposure. Ascent. Well, it's not all that little. Let's follow it up. Say hello to heaven. Okay. 
Okay, I got a good uh, view of the small glare. Of course, the recent local fires certainly haven't helped. And we're continuing the ascent. It's about as crowded as I've ever seen this trail ever in my two or three times here. Of course, it is a holiday weekend and Steve has us leaving close to 10. Normally, I'd be leaving about 7 to 8. No worries, because there's no hurries. Devil's Backbone Trawl, 3.25 miles. Devil's Backbone, Baldy Notch Ski Area. Fine, whatever, it isn't the summit. It's close. Where are you from? From Columbus. Lived in LA 35 years. Been hiking. Oh yeah. Been hiking all over the world for a long time. It's one of my passions. The kids kind of took it out of me for a little while. I still have young kids. Yeah, they seem to do that. Yeah. All that wanderlust now goes into them. <laughs> right. So we're at the summit, no doubt or about her. We were supposed to take the Baldy Bowl Trail. Now we know if we want to take it back down. Shorter, but more steep. Hey. <laughs> smells clean, hard to imagine with all the fires, but we're on the tallest, highest mountain in the San Gabriel Mountains. What else? Let me read my notes here. Let's see if I can look at my comments. I can read them out to which way is San Antonio. Sunday and climb that one.
kindred spirits, I suspect. I need to go find a quiet spot to go to my trash. Well, ladies, you made it again. Damn the torpedoes! Learned a new saying and lived and Damn lived it. Damn the torpedoes! And lived it. Learned it and lived it. Steve doing his thing. Then all this gears for the Mount Baldy run. They're going to need the water and potassium. No desire to run up here or to go in the ice. There's my gear hanging out on that post. Like a metaphor. Nice. All right, so the most any footage from here now will probably be on the way down. Second Sunday, second summit. Might do another one next Sunday. Skip a week. Mount Whitney, that's the plan. We'll see. All right, on our way down from the summit, the uh, ski trail, steeper one, it's the one we wanted to take. We might take it on the way back down. It's a mile and a half shorter and uh, steeper. It's a different terrain, so we'll go for that.
if we're on the right trail. Nice. Going down, going down now, going down. Oh yeah, going down really sucks. Going down. There's no reason to split up. We're heading downhill. It's ridiculous. The trail forked and he just kept going. Steven! So this is cool because we're actually getting in some bouldering. Yeah. I don't think I want to use my walking stick bouldering, but I want to use them hiking. We mentioned it's steeper. Okay, I remember the real deal. The Baldy Bowl is the shorter, steeper route, the one we meant to come up and miss the turn, which is apt to do, they say. So we're taking it on the way down. It's steeper and shorter. And the back, uh, Devil's Backbone, of course, was the way we came up, which I highly recommend. Now, back to paying attention to this trail. Slipping and a sliding. Beauty, eh? That's from whence we came. Yeah, so they 
give you like the, the uh, Well, this is nice. That trail is <laughs> most definitely marked. Yeah. <laughs> it's generic, but at least you know it's a trail. Yeah. Wait a minute, fellas. Are we going down? I don't know. I think we're going down, aren't we? Yes. Going down, then we're not going right. Well, what about that one? <laughs> <laughs> you want to take the lead? <laughs> I want to show you this field. I like this one best. It's my favorite pig, man. Because this way there's no. There it is. It's official. Tree hugger. Save some for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go get me a sequoia, some kind of redwood. More slippery rock, rough rock. People choosing to follow Steve instead of me, even after, Whoa. even after they've experienced his first leadership. <laughs> Yeah, the other trail, nice view and probably a little safer for the moderate novice. But I like that this one's different. Loving the terrain change. For sure. We're driving back together anyway. What's the deal? I'd rather hang out here than buy a car. I don't know. I might hurt that bar and be like... <laughs> wow. Car in the bar. Me thinks you do not go too far. <laughs> this way! <laughs> yeah, the short tuck, but whims. <laughs> now the theory. Look at, check it out. Check it out. It's a chipmunk right there on that little rock. The left, the big rock to the left. You know where I saw a chipmunk, dude? When we got to the summit, when Steve and I came up, the fucking guy made it to the summit with us. And look at this rock. It was like this Christmas special. There were three of them. They were singing like Christmas carols. Really high. You know, like, yeah. All right, now we're caught up in between the fucking rocks. Guys, I can't tell you how much I want to free climb this bolt, little boulder emerging out of nature here. <laughs> hey, let's take ten. Let's take ten minutes and climb this boulder. Right here, up that up that grip. Right now, we're trying to figure out which way this trail continues. What do you think? I don't know. Let me look at it.
I hear water. There's a babbling brook right there, or at least some kind of a creek or a bit of a river. Nice. All right, on to this. So this trail is really uh, spotty in spots and I had to pick it up through some boulders. We're back on a more pronounced trail now. We actually had to scout out a little bit to find it. Uh, crazy. Alrighty then, civilization. San Antonio Ski Hut. They have some natural spring access in here when it's open. It's not open. Dude, hey, Steven, just the splash of that water on my face rejuvenated me, man. I wanted to soak my feet, but started to become so laborious thinking about getting both pair of socks and the shoes on just right. Because right now, they're styling and profiling. Turn around. <laughs> A dope pick. How can it not be? Yeah. They cut off the middle of it for the trail. The, like the way the path goes two different directions. One you might just be one going up there. Oh yeah, most deaf. Well, this is downhill. <laughs> it's a good sign. One of the more unmarked trails I've seen. I can't believe we did this. Mm -hmm. oh, I never had a doubt. Yeah, I'm walking on air. Believe it on that. Stay right there, Stephen. Another steep section. More so for me because I'm hanging out on this boulder. What up? Letting these guys make their way down. I'm doing a little bouldering. Precarious. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna boulder on down. Loved it. Still loving it. <laughs> you gotta come straight down this. We think this is the trail. <laughs> you gotta have, see this one, see that one, and I got you over here, bro. Parkour. As soon as you're safely down, I'm going to parkour down this guy. I got you, bro. Did you give me your hand? Oh, 
Oh, that's not like that. Oh no, anything but that. All right, so how's this for precarious? That's so crazy. <laughs> there you go. So the trail is still dubious, but we hear the falls, according to my map. That's on. Okay, stay here, stay there, and then now step where I am. Ooh, that rock is loose. <laughs> Yikes. Oh yeah. Uh, I think we're still above the waterfall. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Nice. <laughs> Okay. So we're hiking down a waterfall, eventually more so. So that's obviously we're not on a trail. We're <laughs> trailblazing. Still making our way down the falls, the creek. The Baldy Bowl Trail is on the other side of that ridge. We're too far to the left of it. We're not supposed to be along the water, but we are. We're going to work our way down. I like hiking along the water. The girls not so much. They didn't want to come this way. Now I don't blame them. They don't have hiking shoes on. They're sliding their asses. This is freaking crazy, dude. Landslide coming down my feet. Yeah, you got to come down here. I don't know if I'd come this way, though. You're not coming down that way. I'm here to inform you. So this is exciting. My concern is, besides someone slipping, is we'll get to the waterfall and there won't be a way down. We'll have to, someone have to go, we'll all have to go back around or something. What we're gonna see. I got my flashlight. Crazy.
So I think I talked everybody into getting off of the uh, the river here because it hits the waterfall and it's straight down. Here goes over to the original trail we were, thought we wanted to be on. I don't know if we can get to it from here. That little red, that pink uh, slip doesn't hurt. But I think it's a better bet than going to the waterfall and have to climb back out anyway. Because right down there are cars and the original path that we were on. Right there, these guys are looking up at the waterfall like we were. We're way to the left of the trail. That ain't cool. All right, I discovered the path, or a path. Got, got my group the hell off of the river, man. Now we're working our way down here. We we're about to go up on the waterfall and we're gonna be stranded. We're gonna have to hike out anyway. Loving those markers. We got the search and rescue above us, search and rescue above us, asking if we need help because we're like helping these two women out of the out of the riverbed. But um I keep seeing markers and I think we found a I think we found a good path. There's another one. He's still circling overhead. That's cool. I think we can wave him off. assistance I need is please mark your fucking trail. So we're working it. There's the road. So now you can tell your grandkids I saved your life. And if you want to name if you want to name one after me, Tony with the Y or Tony with an I, boy or girl, it's all good. <laughs> I thought you were going to go for the third one, little Dijon. <laughs> oh no, I don't need a Tony and a Tony. Yeah, let's go with Dijon Jr. first. And then a girl, Tony with an eye. To know we made it out of there alive. My adrenaline was like pumping and... I'm not really, I, I, you know what, after that first beer, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna take you, let your humble narrator walk you up to the dirt road, make it official. Oh man. Oh, and I got something official. There's the waterfall that I got us out of. How were we going to come down from there? That's crazy. Come back up here and take another A. <laughs> Take another look at this uh, waterfall from over here and tell me how we were going to get down. <laughs> I know, that's what part of it. It's brilliant. Yeah, there was no coming down that. We could have repelled it with the right equipment. 
because Dude, let me tell you something. People get in situations like that and they, you know, don't, it doesn't turn out that good. No, you know, so, not at all. And we look at us, we're all here, we're all healthy, nobody even got hurt. That's a pretty scene. Mm -hmm. Sun doing its thing. The pollution making it prettier. <laughs> All right, we're officially on the road. We made it! We survived. We survived. We survived. Look, a car. Survived. Civilization. Yeah. Darn it. Party. Survive.